10 ways to strengthen your knees, cartilage, and ligaments. It is inevitable, the passing of the years affects all of us. This means a slower metabolism, loss of memory, loss of mental agility, muscle, joint pain, and ligaments. This makes us move much slower over the years. It definitely breaks down and tears your ligaments, tendons, and joints, especially if you are an athletic person or a very active person. Many people can live with pain and aches every day and give life their all, but other people cannot live with these discomforts. It makes it more difficult for them to do daily activities. Many people choose to take pain pills or painkillers, but this only works for a while. You will take more and more and over time painkillers will damage your kidneys. You do not want to spend the rest of your life taking pills all day and risking your kidneys too. Preserve the health of your joints, muscles, and ligaments. In this video, we will mention how often you need to do certain exercises, diet, and certain routines in order to help you. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our updates. Number 1 keep moving even if it doesn't feel like that sometimes is what keeps your joints healthy you notice that when you spend a long time in a fixed position such as when you keep one leg extended for a long time when changing position the first thing to hurt is the knee when the knee joint is kept extended or flexed for a long period of time its ligaments tighten or shorten and when they return to movement a change of state in them where it is required again generates discomfort for this reason keeping in motion is ideal it does not mean that you spend the day dancing but that you do look for a way to stay physically active. If your job involves spending sitting for many hours, you can get up every 20 or 30 minutes to extend your legs and promote blood circulation. Doing a slight stretch in your legs helps you improve flexibility. You can also use the stairs in spite of the elevator always going up, not going down, since the impact of the stairs on the knees when going down can be harmful. Walk a little in the office, at home, when you go shopping, walk a little so that your knees keep moving. Number 2 control your body weight physical weight is a determining factor in the care of the health of the knees and other joints when you maintain a weight higher than your ideal weight your knees feel as if they should support a greater weight than they really can and also do double the effort of daily activities such as walking to the station bending over to pick up an object or climbing a couple of steps they are very annoying activities for an overweight person and your knees let you know with pain inflammation and wear and tear the idea is then to keep your weight under control by feeding yourself in a balanced way and consuming foods rich in protein and antioxidants as well as omega-3 that provide your knees with the necessary nutrients to maintain and strengthen studies carried out in 2005 showed that the reduction of one pound of body weight reduces 400 times the load force in the knees when taking a step being like this imagine how much extra load your knees are supporting for each kilogram of overweight in your body number three avoid carrying extra weight we all sometimes carry a backpack on our shoulders sometimes it is light and other times not so much if you carry a backpack with your study notes books laptop and some clothes for the gym and your lunch can you imagine how much extra weight you are placing on your knees carrying extra weight daily also hurts your knees as it adds extra weight to the joints and tendons and if you are already overweight you are only increasing the risk of injury number four do low impact exercises doing sports and a little diet helps a lot to control overweight and also the movement brings extra benefits to your knees because it allows not only to mobilize them but we have to be careful with the kind of exercises you do most recommended physical exercises are low impact ones this means that they do not include jumps and that one of the two feet is always touching the floor the most recommended low impact exercise is swimming it allows the performance of exercise routines in the water with the benefit of the knees not having to support your weight which allows you to work on the stretching and resistance when facing the friction and difficulty that water exerts on the body gain elasticity and improve heart function also Cling as taking bike rides helps you a lot in the mobilization of knees and ankle joints without having to overload with your body weight. We are not talking about a spinning session, but a smooth movement that helps strengthen the knees without overloading or exhausting. Another recommendation is the stairs or elliptical climbing stairs or an elliptical. It helps you with the movement of your knees favors your normal rotation and improves your strength yoga with its stretching positions allows you to work on the flexibility of your knees and the rest of the body while helping you improve your posture number five perform strengthening exercises to improve the condition of knees and make them more resistant to daily activities as well as to prevent their wear and tear due to the normal aging process it is recommended to perform exercises that allow them to gain a little elasticity and strength However, not all the work done by the knees comes from them or the general musculature of the legs, calf tendons, and thighs. 
Everything meshes automatically so that the knees can tolerate and resist the use that we give them. Thus, the strengthening exercises begin by reinforcing these areas and increasing muscle gain. The most beneficial are squats. When performing squats, strengthening knees, thighs and spine is an exercise that directly affects joints and knee ligaments. If you do it holding a pair of dumbbells in your hands, you print a little more weight to gain resistance. In strides, this exercise consists of taking a step forward and flexing the knee lowering the trunk until the extended knee is close to the floor, then changing position and repeating with the stride. You get muscle gain stretching and knee resistance. If you do it holding two dumbbells, the result will be better. Number 6. Use footwear right. Yes, we already know you love your shoes and high heels because they give you style and enhance the figure of your legs but injure your knees at the same time. High heeled shoes and platforms pressure of the weight that your body exerts on the ground to fall on your heels, but as you need to maintain balance everything is wobbling, and your body struggles to regulate the weight while balancing it ends up falling on your knees. So the effort that the knee joints are forced to make is greater, in the same way, the calves of your legs are kept contracted which can cause cramps, shortening of the tendons, and increases the risk of sprained ankles. Do you seriously want to injure yourself just to maintain a style? The ideal thing to improve the health of the knees is to use appropriate footwear, that is, not to make it difficult to talk and not so low that it lacks shock absorption. Walking tennis shoes or running shoes are wonderful for keeping your knees and joints safe. Number 7. Stop smoking. It is not an anti-smoking campaign, but actually, Cigarette smoking has negative effects on your health and especially on your bones. The American Association of Orthopedic Society maintains that tobacco has a very serious effect on bones and joints. Smokers have a greater risk of osteoporosis and fractures, in the same way. Tendinitis and bursitis are associated with smoking. Even rheumatoid arthritis is a common factor among smokers. As you can see, it is not only about the health of your lungs and the proven risk of cancer, but cigarettes can damage your bones and cause injuries that are difficult to recover. Number 8. Take care of your levels of calcium and vitamin D. Both calcium and vitamin D are two essential elements in bone health as they strengthen bones and improve the immune system. Vitamin D facilitates the absorption of calcium, and this is necessary for the growth and regeneration of bones and cartilage as well as prevents osteoporosis and decreases the possibility of reduced bone density. The best thing is that vitamin D is free and can be obtained with half an hour of daily solar exposure, and it can be received while you exercise, walk to work or do the shopping. It is always good to have a medical checkup to determine how the condition of the bones is and how your vitamin D and calcium are since the doctor can also prescribe a supplement that will help you to level the levels if they are below the normal. Number 9. Maintain a balanced diet of nutrients that generally strengthen you. When talking about diets, people tend to think about reducing calories, suppressing certain foods, and going hungry. But in reality, when talking about a diet that improves health, what it means is to incorporate into the diet foods that provide nutrients and proteins that strengthen and benefit the body. If you maintain a balanced diet with a full supply of vitamins, proteins, cereals, vegetables, and good fats, be sure that you will not only control your weight but also your ligaments, tendons, and joints will. Number 10. Taking breaks. Resting is essential for the body to restore strength and energy, to repair muscle and articulations. Whether you spend all day standing or sitting, exercising, or working, rest is essential for the body, and resting does not mean lying in bed doing anything but giving the body another way of positioning itself and distracting the mind. If you spend the day standing, sitting, or lying down, raising your legs, and doing push-ups. If you spend the day sitting, rest from that also, get up and walk. The idea is that your knees can do the opposite of what you are used to because that gives them rest. We hope that this video was helpful. If you have anything to add, please share IT with us in the comments. Like this video and send the link to your family and your best friends, so they also know about how to take care of their knees. If you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe.